Uh, good evening, this is Minister Paul, Northern California, 11-9-2012. Uh, I'm not going to let this uh, go uh, unchecked. Watch around the wall, keep it on top of this New World Order um, stuff that they're setting up uh, to police us. Caught this video, here's the story. Um, in St. Petersburg, Florida, this is actual video, so I just let it play and speak for itself. Before I do, to make the video shorter, because they said it was given to them, uh, you know, uh, 15 minutes north of me, they just haven't been given a Humvee too. And apparently this city with a population of 12,000 needs a Humvee for emergency response. There's a picture of it. They're going to paint it and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it was just given to them for free. And they'll be rolling through the streets for emergency responses in, 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 on city streets. Wake up. Wake up. And uh, it, so I'm sure if they were given one in that small city and this city was given this, wait till you see it. Uh, your city's next. Okay. This is important stuff, folks. I, I'm not trying to waste your time. A couple of different fronts. Cameras inside an armored truck and more cameras now deployed in downtown St. Pete. New at 11 tonight, Fox 13 Steve Nichols tells us you might also see them popping up in areas plagued by drugs and prostitution. <sighs> Start with a donated armored truck, wrap it up all nice and pretty, add some big eyeballs and cameras aimed every direction. Make the images viewable on police iPads, and you've got exactly what St. Pete City Councilman Carl Nurse wanted. It's high profile enough. You put it in a, in a drug location or a prostitution location, and it'll uh, discourage customers from, uh, from coming. They'll just keep moving. This truck will be parked outside suspected drug houses in residential neighborhoods, and the police chief claims... If we just place something from one area that goes around the corner, guess what? We just start the thing up and drive it around the corner. The city also wound up with some surveillance cameras courtesy of the Republican National Convention. Nine of those now watch over portions of downtown St. Pete. Twelve more are sitting on a shelf, and council members are thinking of uses outside of downtown. I think prostitution particularly is an area where scary the John, the deterrent, this is where it would be effective. So Council Member Danner, specifically to your request, if the City Council decides you want one on 34th Street, we'll find a place to put it. But cameras alone will not address the growing challenge of policing downtown St. Pete's early morning nightlife. For now, taxpayers pick up that tab. What we've done, Steve, is basically taken a lot of our resources and shifted to those early morning hours which takes away from some, some of the stuff we did early afternoon. Next month, the city council considers possible remedies for the nightclub issue, and for now, enjoys the new truck. I think you've got to be a real idiot to deal your drugs in front of this thing. There will be someone that does it. <laughs> it's St. Petersburg, Steve Nichols, Fox 13 News. St. Pete now spends, on average, more than $13,000 a month on police overtime. That's just patrolling downtown, and arrests there, they say, have more than doubled since 2009.